Have you ever wondered if there's a connection between the use of creatine and hair loss? Today we're unraveling this intriguing question. Creatine, a supplement beloved by many fitness enthusiasts, is hailed for its power to enhance performance and muscle growth, but lurking behind its benefits is a potential downside, hair loss. Indeed, the whispers among the gym goers and fitness communities are hard to ignore. Some claim that their manes started thinning after they began using creatine. Others, however, vehemently disagree, attributing hair loss to factors like genetics and age. As you can see, the fitness world is divided on this issue. There are those who are convinced that creatine is the unseen villain while others believe it's innocent, a mere scapegoat in the grand scheme of things. So what's the truth? Is creatine really a culprit in hair thinning or loss? Let's dive into the scientific research and see what it has to say about this controversial topic. To understand the correlation, we need to dive into the science behind these claims. So let's take a deep breath and plunge into the world of biochemistry. Creatine, a substance naturally produced by our bodies, plays a crucial role in supplying energy to our muscles. It's this energy-boosting character that has made it a darling among fitness enthusiasts and athletes who often take it as a supplement to enhance their performance. But like any rose, creatine may have its thorns. Back in 2009, a study conducted by the Stellenbosch University in South Africa suggested that creatine use could lead to an increase in a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, for short. Now, DHT isn't some villainous hormone wreaking havoc, it's a byproduct of testosterone, the hormone that gives us our male characteristics. But too much DHT has been linked to hair loss in men, specifically male pattern baldness. Here's where things get hairy. The study found that after three weeks of high-dose creatine supplementation, the subject's DHT levels increased by a whopping 40 to 56 percent. That's a significant surge, and it's this finding that has fueled the creatine hair loss debate. But before you toss out all your creatine supplements, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, this study was relatively small, involving only 20 rugby players. Secondly, the study wasn't specific to hair loss. It measured DHT levels, but it didn't track whether the subjects actually experienced any hair loss. Moreover, genetics plays a key role in hair loss. So, if you're predisposed to male pattern baldness, your hair follicles may be more sensitive to DHT. But if baldness doesn't run in your family, your follicles might just shrug off the extra DHT. While this study provides some insight, it's important to remember that it's not definitive proof that creatine causes hair loss. So, for now, the jury's still out. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this mystery in our next scene. So, what's the verdict? Can using creatine lead to hair loss? We've traversed the creatine hair loss dilemma, delving into the science behind the claims. To recap, studies have suggested a potential link between creatine use and hair loss, but the evidence is far from conclusive. While some research has pointed towards an increase in dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, a hormone linked to hair loss, following creatine use, these findings still require further exploration. The science as it stands is not definitive. It's essential to remember that hair loss can be influenced by a multitude of factors, including genetics, age, and overall health. Therefore, it's crucial to consider your personal risk factors for hair loss before starting any supplement regimen including creatine. Before you start popping those capsules, consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice based on your individual needs and health history. Remember, when it comes to supplements, it's always best to get personalized advice from a healthcare professional. In conclusion, while there's some evidence that creatine might increase levels of DHT, a hormone linked to hair loss, the research is still inconclusive. As we navigate the vast world of supplements and their potential effects, it's crucial to remember that we are all unique. What works for one person might not work for another, and what might cause negative side effects in one individual may not in another. This is why it's so important to consult with a healthcare professional before embarking on any supplement regimen, creatine included. They can provide personalized advice based on your health history and goals. Moreover, staying well-informed and making decisions based not solely on trends or hype, but on verified research and personal health considerations is key. Remember, your well-being should always take precedence over any fitness trend or supplement hype. Be diligent, be smart, and make decisions that are right for you. Stay healthy, stay informed, and always prioritize your well-being over any fitness trend or supplement hype.